So hello friends, so I'm going to show you how to remove fungus out of this lens. It is a Nikkor 105mm 2.5 and then we're talking about the IES version that you can recognize because you have the integrated hood here, you have the orange 22 here and then here on the bayonet you have this small slot that is for something, I don't know really what it's for, but then you have this in the AES version. Okay, and then as you can see here, the lens has quite some fungus here on the back and here on the front. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to disassemble this lens so you can access all the fungus for cleaning. And then first I have to tell you, this is not going to be a easy ride because this lens is rather difficult to disassemble, it will appear simple here in this video, but the glues that were used for uh, assembling it are quite strong and then you will struggle for sure. Okay, so to start this assembly, I put the lens in this position here and then I move the hood, I go to the lowest focusing position and then I look for two screws here, you have two, and then sometimes you even have one in this position, I think that's for removing the hood, uh, but I have seen it only once, you have usually two holes, and then we're going to take care of the small screw here on the bottom, that I'm just going to get slightly loose, I'm not going to remove it, and then with that done, I will be able to rotate this thing here. And then I will move the front. And then here you go, you have the front. And then if you remove the other screw, as I told you before, you will be able to remove this front ring here that I'm touching with my finger. You see it here, the assembly on the back. And then by removing that you will be able to remove the hood which in this case we will need to do it uh, because I think the felt is gone okay anyway we have here and then simple thing we can remove the optical assembly entirely and then this is where the difficulties are going to start here I'm going to show it to you it's going to appear easy because I already pre-disassembled the lens, so I already had all the struggles with the glue. But then uh, we're going to separate the optical assembly and then get also the diaphragm assembly alone. So first thing, this one is easy. So you need a bit of force. So and then we get this which is the front and then when I was pretty assembling the lens before I used a pair of rubber gloves so to have a very good grip so this is a must to have when you're going to open lenses sometimes it is necessary okay first thing and then as you can see big part of the fungus is just behind the front lens, so what we're going to do is to remove this retainer ring here and then here I have to tell you I struggled a lot so I tried before for dissolving the, dissolving the glue I tried isopropyl alcohol that I'm showing you here didn't work so I had to move to the next step which is solvent, it's written solvent but it's nail polish removal and then this thing worked again I used my rubber gloves and then I had to struggle a bit and then here we get this ring removed and then if I get a small suction cup thing here and then yeah as you 
can see the fungus are on this part of the lens so we're going to take care of that so I leave it like that in the meantime so that's pretty much the assembly the disassembly of the front I just leave it like that and then here on the back we want to remove this part here and then here you want it to be really really careful you have two holes here so one here and then one here my recommendation my recommendation is that you put isopropyl alcohol here or a solvent if you need in this one this one you don't touch it because I actually made that mistake I dissolved the glue here and then here so I have the complete block that I'm removing here right now that, that came out so it is a good thing but then separating this part here from this part was a real pain so at the end I managed but I have to say to you I spent almost one hour doing this managing to remove this element here so be careful with that do as I suggested before don't touch it if you don't need to remove it and then just apply the solvent in this part of the thread so you will be able to remove it and then here we reach the part where we have uh, most of the fungus and then here I can show you anything okay here you have it so and then last thing we need to do you can take a spanner key I like to use a mason compass compass and then here once again there is a bit of glue this lens has glue like everywhere and then you have this shiny thing here which is glue that you need again to remove so here I used isopropyl alcohol it worked and then at the end you come with your spawner or your compass or whatever and then you get it loose and then I usually like to finish these kind of things by using the rubber cones so I reduce the risk of damaging the glass and then here with this ring gun we gain access the lens well, to the surface which is full of fungus now this is all we need for this assembly I showed to you it appears to be easy but then be careful with these glues everywhere I told you because they are really really strong okay so now we have disassembled the lens we're going to do the cleaning so I'm going to, to stop the video for a few seconds to go and pick my cleaning stuff I am back, I am ready for the cleaning and then I am going to explain how to proceed with the cleaning of one single lens surface and then the rest will be the repetition of that so I don't think it will be necessary to show it to you every lens I am going to clean so um, to remove fungus I proceed in two steps so first I use this the fluid which is in this bottle that I prepare in this video, I leave you the link is my mixture for uh, removing fungus it works quite well and then once the fungus is gone I use optical cleaning fluid just to do the finishing and get a quite shiny and nice surface of the lens and then obviously to do that 
first thing I use optical cleaning paper this is the one I use which you cannot find anymore but then on the internet I even have a link on the description of the video for some paper you can use all the papers are good don't take the cheapest one because uh, yeah well the difference anyway is not big, not that big yeah. so take good quality one and you won't have any trouble and then uh, last I use this thing it's a lens pen but then the thing that interests me is this cup here that I use to push the paper around for the clean and then obviously a microfiber cloth just to do the cleaning this one is for the final cleaning and then I have one for the first clean as you can see the condition is not as pretty as the other and then okay so let's start I took this dark surface so you can see what is going on you see the fungus very well there and then I just simply going to put a drop of the fluid I use for eliminating fungus and then I'm going to spread with my finger okay as you can see the glass is free to move since we remove the retaining ring and then here as you can see the result is quite interesting fungus gets away immediately so that's not something we need to worry again so quite good progress then following step just to do the second cleaning and then to do so I use the optical cleaning fluid that I just showed to you before. I spread it everywhere. Then I take the optical cleaning paper that I manipulate with tweezers. So just don't to contaminate it with the fat of my fingers. And then I take this and then I start spreading it. Okay. It's going to be a bit problematic that the lens is rotating. So let me try to find a way to hold it in place with the tweezers. And then, as you might notice, I am using plastic tweezers, which is for safety in case they slip, as they just did a few seconds ago. I don't have any risk of scratching the lens okay and then here there's still some clean work to do but I think you get the idea and then this is how you proceed with the clean so what I'm going to do is just to finish the clean of the other lenses of the camera and then we meet again for the reassembly of the lens So hello friends, I am back and done with the cleaning and as you can see the lenses have nothing to do with what they were in the beginning. Now we're going to reassemble the lens. This is going to be far more easy than the re-disassemble. So and then as you might notice I already reassembled partially uh, these parts of the lenses. So I put the lens back and the ring and then here for the back element here too. I put this element back. Now we're going to screw that to the diaphragm body. I'm not going to put any glue if I want to come back to for the repairs or whatever. The glue is going to bother me more than anything else. So and then here on the back put this in. We tighten just a bit. I'm going to skimp glue as I told you before and then now we're going to put this thing into the body of the lens and here we need to be careful so first thing as you notice that I did I put this thing to the lowest diaphragm opening possible on the lens and then here we will come 
to the body of the lens and then I will do the same thing now okay when we the same we took we were at the lowest focusing distance and then here you have this slot here and then we have this pin here and then normally it should go partially in it is blocked let me show you I didn't explain that to you you have this pin here who should go into this fork here very easy to see okay here you have so that pin here goes in between the fork and then this pin here is going to align me since I am at the lowest diaphragm position and then here if I come to the pin I should be almost aligned and then what I do is I will wiggle a bit the aperture ring and then you saw what it happened it got in the middle so it got completely in and then here last step I should come you should pay attention probably to this you have this point here which is the point where the screw of this barrel here is going to settle so we want when we're screwing back go to this position and then here we are aligned to the infinity mark so this will be my cue then here I just start screwing this thing and then I am near the infinite position and then once I reach it I take out my screwdriver that I put away and then I screw this thing again and then this is it this is how you remove fungus from the Nikkor 105 2.5 AES and then as you can see the lens has nothing to do with what you had in the beginning so this is all i wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time